Long story short, I'm a drummer. I'm good, but never hit the big time. COVID taught me to dream big. So it's time to upskill. I'm going to be chatting to musician friends and learning new skills that will make me a superstar. Or at least a better musician. I'm Joff. That's my dad, Nofa. That's Nora. That's an old Danny tub full of screws. You're in the garage of possibilities. This is Soundtrack to Our Lives. After giving my vocal cords a workout with Yarra Voices, it's a night. I was left with a strange feeling in my throat, like something had crawled in and set up shop. Had I caught the singing bug? In the garage of possibilities, we're all about harnessing inspiration. But what would be the next destination in my vocal journey? Last night it came to me. After finishing the second last episode of the third season of the box set of The Sopranos, I knew what I had to do. I'm going to learn how to be an opera singer, and I know the perfect person to help me out. A real life soprano. Oratory soprano Shante Batsky is a leading vocalist and an important emerging compositional voice in the Australian art music scene. Starting as a soul and gospel singer before switching to opera, Shante has performed all over the world. She is also quite possibly the nicest person on earth. Hi Shante, welcome to the Garage of Possibilities. So great to see you. Hi Joff, thank you so much for having me. Three nights ago, I decided to be an opera singer. When did you also realise it was your calling? Well, I didn't even know I was going to be an opera singer. Uh, I always sang R&B, gospel, soul, jazz, and I came to Melbourne to do an intensive. I discovered this voice that I didn't even know I had. And I was like, yep, that's it, I wanna do this. That's beautiful, Shantae. So 2020 was a difficult year. How important was music for you during the tough times? Music for me during the tough times was a way of escape. I was writing more and listening to the music that inspired me. Music's always important to me, but it really did play a large part in 2020. So what is the most important attribute to being an opera singer? You've asked a really tricky question, Joff, because there's so many facets to being an opera singer. Languages and technique and stagecraft and so many things. But I would say the first thing you need to have is the passion. The passion to be an opera singer. And it sounds like you've got that. You better believe it. <laughs> so what would you say to someone at home who wants to do what you do, but doesn't know where to start? I would say the first thing to do is to listen to uh, operas, listen to opera singers and find the one that really speaks to you. See in your community whether there's any uh, singers or musicians that you could uh, reach out to. You see the people up on the stage, they look like they're untouchable, but that's not the case. So what opera lesson are you going to school us in today, Shantae? Well, today, Joff, I'm going to teach you how to sing a melody in my language, in the language of the Wiradjuri people. And it's called Babirin Yiwari Gariagiran. That is awesome. Let's do it. Okay, Shantae, so where do we start? What we're going to do is start with posture and breathing. So when you breathe in, breathe into this part of your body. So into your lungs and diaphragm. And then breathe out on a Beautiful. The reason why we do that is so that we have our body prepared. So when the sound is coming out singing, it's all safe and there's no pressure on the neck and on the shoulders or the throat. Okay, great. What's next? Well, the next step is creating uh, the resonance. So using that posture and breathing and allowing the sound to come out. For me, what I do is I sing up a scale and for example, let me demonstrate. I go, and I, for me personally, I use my hand to uh, extend it to see and imagine that sound going as far as possible. And it keeps a really nice uh, straight um, legato. So let's try that. 
Beautiful. As we say, bravo. <laughs> Well, the next step, Joff, is to speak through the words and understand the translation. Papira niwari. So, do you want to try that? Papira niwari. Perfect. You're a natural. <laughs> and that means sing, sweetheart, uh, in the language of the Wiradjuri people. I will also demonstrate what it would sound like um, in rhythm. I'll just give you a little taste. It goes like this. Do you reckon you can try that? We need a little bit more work on the vowels, so we'll do it like this. Okay, do you want to try it now by yourself? Reckon we can do it? I could really feel the breathing as well, that was great. I think you did a wonderful job, Joff. I can feel the passion, I can feel the desire. You just need um, a few more hours of practice. <laughs> but it was great. Thanks for being so patient with me, Shantae. And thanks everyone for joining us in the Garage of Possibilities. I think we can all agree I'm ready for the big time. But Shantae, I can't help but feel I'm holding you back. Do you think you can show us what being an opera singer is all about? I'd love to, Joff. Sing, darling. Sing to your country. Sing to your people. Sing to your creator. Do not fear. You were born to sing. Sing, darling. <laughs> <laughs>